Hey guys, last episode we did a duck confi and we end up with a bunch of a duck carcass. Don't throw this away, this week we will do a duck stock. So let's start with the ingredient now. What we need is celery, carrots, a bunny, no I'm just kidding, a live rabbit, I'm messing with you, duck carcass, olive oil, kosher salt, yellow onion, Club of garlic, dry mushroom, black peppercorn, bay leaves, rosemary, sage, thyme, parsley. Oh, and some water for the stock. The first thing you want to do is to put that duck carcass in a roasting pan. Some olive oil on this and some kosher salt. And put this in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit until it's nice and brown, maybe 30 to 40 minutes. Let's check on our carcass now. Ooh, when it's uh, nice and brown like this, it's time to start the stock. Let's pick a big pot for this and put all those carcasses in the pot. So what we want to do here is to cover all the bones with cold water make sure everything is covered just a bit more there you go and we start this at medium So what we are doing here is to make just a simmer, not a boil, up to 8 hours. So I hope you have a lot of free time on your hands. That carcass and water have simmered for 6 hours now and it's time to prep our veggies. We will cut all those veggies and put it in the same pan as the carcass before and we will roast all those veggies for extra flavor. All right, so this is melted duck. <gasps> so this is melted duck fat. And we want to roast those veggie in the duck fat. It's gonna be a beautiful. And some kosher salt, just a pinch. And in the oven at 400 Fahrenheit it goes until it's nice and brown in color. So let's check on those veggies. Woo. Smell good in here. So when your veggie all are, 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 are. So when your veggie are nice and roasted like this, it's time to add it to the stock. The reason we didn't add this at the same time at the carcass is because the carcass need to simmer for eight hours so if we put all the veggies in with the carcass and simmer everything within eight hour uh, the taste of the veggies will blend into it and uh, won't be that great so that's why yeah mm -hmm. And the back you go. Woo 
And the reason we took the same pan for the veggies and for the carcass is because the veggie kind of deglaze all the fond that the carcass left and this is uh, free flavor, yeah. Now it's time to add some aromatic to our stock. Here I'm having a dry mushroom, any kind will do, but those are shiitake mushroom. I have no idea if this is how you pronounce it, probably not. But those are packed with umami flavor, so they will be great in that stock. Boop, 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 boop. And bay leaves, of course. Uh, one, two, three. What if I say this uh, I like to add some sage. Mmm, very good. And uh, my favorite aromatic, rosemary. So, so good. Parsley, just put everything there. And uh, thyme. We will season only at the end because this thing will reduce and if we season right now we might have a too salty stock at the end. So let's simmer this for two hours and we'll be back then. So it's time to see how it looks. Who's that hot? Hot, 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 hot. And uh, we will go a fishing. So let's remove the biggest chunk. Ouch. And let's do another pass with a cheese clap. So we can use a finer cheese clot here and make a final pass. Now as you can see, there's a fine line here, so all the top will be the fat. So we will put this in the fridge overnight and tomorrow we'll just pick up the fat that's gonna be solid and our stock will be ready. Put this in a small container you can keep it in the fridge for a week or in the freezer for six months in later episode i will show you what we can do with this delicious stock so i hope you guys enjoy this episode if so please leave a like on the video and see you in the next one